And we will get cranking on the next round, Dr. Alec. I have a little anxiety for this. <laughs> Hey, what's up everybody? Dr. Alec here. Hey everybody. I'm the, one, oh, the, I'm the one in the hot seat today. Go ahead, Mike. Hey everybody. I got Dr. Alec with me. Um, we're from Kalkstein Chiropractic here in Towson, Baltimore, Maryland area. Um, today we're going to be doing some more of our radial pulse shockwave. We've got Dr. Alec here. It's been a long day at the office. He's feeling a little bit of strain on the right side of the neck, a little bit into the shoulders. Dr. Alec, why don't you tell him what, what you're feeling? Uh, a couple days ago, so dumb. Oh, 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 okay. A couple days ago, I was in the shower, lifting my arm overhead, and I just freaking tweaked. It tweaked my neck. I, it feels like how a facet feels sometimes when it's irritated, but um, I ended up getting some stuff into the shoulder blade that, wow, was rocking my world too. So I've had a, like an immense amount of difficulty looking to the right, sorry, looking to the left due to pain on my right side. I've been three or four days now, and that's it's not difficult for me. So I figure, um, I figure I need to get this addressed. And shockwave is a pretty, pretty delicious way to take care of that. I like you really find some spots early. Yeah. Oh. So with the shockwave, we're really trying to focus on these trigger points or the knots in the muscle, if you will. So that's why you can see Dr. Alec is in some spots more than others, a little bit more uncomfortable because we're essentially just finding really good spots that we need to get this treatment into. Like we've kind of talked about before on, on the shockwave videos, you know, we're bringing in a lot of good healing agents into the area. We're bringing in some fresh blood, fresh oxygen. The body actually responds to this treatment by bringing in fresh stem cell as well. So. We're really jump-starting the inflammatory process in the muscle, which is gonna, in turn, make Dr. Alec heal that much faster. Dr. Alec, is it anything down here, or is it more up in that region there? You know, Mike, you just you keep finding spots as you, as you were eating. Like, I mean, that, that doesn't feel good. It's yeah. Good at all. Perfect. It feels like it needs TLC. But, but for sure, that, that north corner of my scapula is, is uncomfortable. Right in here, yeah. What would you describe this feeling as, Dr. Alec? Um, it's, it's actually pretty tough. It's like a, when you hit a really good spot, it's a deep ache. But, but it's just like a, the rest of it's like a, a deep percussive feeling. Oh, oh, like that. Whatever that is. Right there, yeah. So that's a trigger point right there. When we're on one spot and it's sending radiating pain or a, re a referral of pain, that is exactly what we're looking for right there. So with the shock wave, you know, we do a little bit of feeling around like so, but once we find those good spots, we're just gonna hang out in that spot for a good 30 to 45 seconds. and. That's going to really get us some of that attention we need and ultimately just saving the energy. We're not just scanning big picture. We're finding right where we need and we're sitting on it. Just like Dr. Alec can feel. That's crazy. Yeah, so I'm just taking my hand and kind of guiding myself along the muscle, finding more spots like right here that you can even kind of see he gave us a little bit of reaction there as well. So we're, we're getting a nice shockwave treatment here. Shockwave treatments in the office typically last anywhere from about six minutes up to about 15 minutes, depending on you know how big the area is, how many trigger points that we locate. Um, but typically it's about that six to 15 minute marker. So you have to imagine with this shock wave, we're essentially sending a sound wave about three inches into the body. Wherever the head of that gun is positioned, we're going three inches into the muscle. So that's why we can really use the shock wave to dig up under the parts of the body where you know a, a massage therapist might not be able to fully reach with their own hands. It's 
very similar to dry needling in that aspect. It can do a little bit more pressure, a little bit deeper than you know one of our doctors or our massage therapist upstairs would be able to do for you. All right, so that was the lower part. Now we're going to end up blasting up top here. Now, with up top, we're going to also sneak a little bit into the neck region. So we're going to not only recruit a little bit of active range of motion from Dr. Alec to really allow that three-inch penetration a little bit deeper, but we're also going to need to change the head. Um, like you can guess, the neck is not as dense. It's not as... Um, why there's not as much of a diameter that we need to penetrate. So just to give you an idea, we're going from this head here, which is a nice big boy, to a little bit smaller of a head. So let's go ahead and throw that on, and we will get cranking on the next round, Dr. Alec. I have a little anxiety for this, <laughs> after what I just experienced. <laughs> Health anxiety. If our patients can handle it, so can you, Dr. Isn't that Alec. The truth? But, but providers are the biggest hypocrites. <laughs> All right, so we're going to start without any range of motion. We'll find a couple good spots, and then once we find some good spots, we'll recruit Dr. Alec to not only look to the left, but down into that armpit as well. So pretty light right there. I'm going to drop the frequency so it gets a little bit deeper, and now we're going to turn up the pulse just a little bit. So ideally, we're looking for about a four or a five on our pressure scale. And that's probably given that uh, that input we just received, probably about a four or a five. Dr. Alec, if this gets any worse for you, we'll turn you down a little bit, okay? Okay, yeah, got it. Perfect. Now, just to not surprise anybody in the video, once we start going into the neck, you can kind of expect to see Dr. Alec potentially clearing his throat or coughing a little bit. And it's because the sound wave is gonna actually be vibrating that esophagus just a little. And it kind of leaves a little bit of an unpleasant feeling in there. Almost like you need to clear your throat because something's rattling it. So Dr. Alec, have we found anything good down here so far? It feels like maybe right here is pretty sweet. Yeah, that's actually a pretty good touch on your part. Perfect. So do me a favor and let's see if we can get any more intense of a feedback from that neck motion now. So look to the left and then down into the armpit for me. Do you feel that any more intense at all? Yeah, it actually does slightly more intense. Perfect. So let's do that about five times. That was one. And I'm going to just play with the angle that I'm sending the shockwave in so we can kind of angle it you know, to the right. We can angle it a little bit more into the neck itself. We're just ultimately trying to find where it feels most reactive as Dr. Alec goes through these motions. So I'm going to turn down the pressure a little bit and we're going to get up into the neck now. So let me know if this is a little uncomfortable. You doing okay? Perfect. So let's turn it up a little more. A little tender right there. Yeah, it is tender. All right. It's getting loud. Ooh. And you can see by how much he slowed down that mo motion, we're really pinning that muscle now that we need to be on top of. What we're doing is very similar to the pin and stretch techniques that our doctors will move our patients through because we've successfully taken this head of our shockwave, we're pinning down the muscle, and then Dr. Alec is walking himself through a stretch while that muscle's pinned down. That's a good spot too, right there. I just felt that whole muscle snap back when you turned your head again. <coughs> there it is. There's the cough. I said it would eventually happen.
I can tell this is a good spot here because every time Dr. Alec finishes his head turn, the muscle of that neck is actually popping itself across the shockwave's head. So you can really tell we've got it nice and pinned down. We're, we're doing perfect. Dr. Alec, you, you've got about 20 seconds left. Let's get one more rotation. Good. Perfect. All right, guys, well, Woo! the shockwave is just about to turn itself off now, so this was another successful shockwave session for us, wow. and there it is. Dr. Alec, how are you feeling? I actually feel like my neck is much more freed up. It's moving a lot better, too, Whoa. yeah. Okay. Perfect. Amazing. Well, everybody, if you want to come down and get some treatment on the shockwave, if you want to have Dr. Alec give you an adjustment or any of our doctors here, Come on by to Kalkstein Chiropractic, your local Towson, Baltimore area chiropractor. We'll see you next time for the next video. Thanks for watching.